these 400,000 documents. WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange has masterminded the very public disclosure of classified government information. And that has polarized opinion and sparked a debate over what the public needs to know. WikiLeaks continues to publish online, even though Assange is in a British jail on allegations of rape in Sweden. In public, Assange has appeared cold and aloof. Psychology professor Gerald Post. In general, um, that facade of arrogant superiority is underlaid by great insecurity. This is a man who moved 37 times before he was 14 years old. Post says he cannot make a diagnosis of Assange because he has never met him. But he says Assange's behavior appears clinically narcissistic. There is a suggestion that he leads a rather lonely life, although he has a number of admirers. But he's become more and more imperious, uh, almost like a, an autocratic dictator in terms of what he decides to do. He's quite a charismatic figure, I think. Um, um, he's somewhat enigmatic. Joe Glanville is with the free speech organization Index on Censorship. She has met Assange. I think he's somebody who's clearly um, hugely dedicated to what he's doing, um, whose whole life revolves around WikiLeaks so that he wanders from place to place, he's nomadic um, and is entirely dedicated to the cause. For the past few months, Assange has been in Britain, staying at the Frontline Club, a private facility used mainly by journalists. Vaughn Smith owns the club. He says 96% of his membership supported having Assange here. Smith was with Assange when he turned himself in to British police. I don't think that he's a, a man of, of, of steel. I think he's a man of resolve. Um, but a man who, just like you or I, would be very frightened about going to bail. Smith says the issues are not black and white, but that WikiLeaks has called into question the conduct of journalists and governments. I'm not saying that I feel happy necessarily or comfortable with all these releases. I just think it requires a, a very large perspective to understand what's going on. Assange has divided world opinion. Australia's Prime Minister, Julia Gillard, called the foundation of WikiLeaks illegal. It would not happen, information would not be on WikiLeaks if there had not been an illegal act undertaken. The Australian Foreign Minister blamed the United States for the leaks because so many people had access to the cables. But American officials have condemned WikiLeaks. They say there's an investigation into whether Assange broke any U.S. laws. Companies that have abandoned WikiLeaks, such as PayPal, Visa and MasterCard, are finding themselves under attack by hackers. The web retailer Amazon kicked WikiLeaks off its servers for violating its terms of service. But online at Amazon, you can actually buy an analysis of the leaked cables. Meanwhile, the leaks continue, even with Assange in jail. In his native Australia and around the world, demonstrations of support. Proponents and detractors say no matter what happens to Assange, what he has started could be unstoppable. Jennifer Glass for VOA News, London.